Hi, it's Kristen Burke for RCR News Media, and it's the Creative Arts Emmys. Now, of course, things look a little bit different this year, but we were backstage in the virtual press room to interview some of the winners. Check it out. Welcome, Lawrence Fishburne, outstanding actor in a short form comedy or drama series. Hashtag free John. Hello. Question from Stephanie Piche. Hi there, Lawrence. Congratulations on your win. And Thank for you. a win for Quibi, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, how was it working on such a dramatic and and um, heart hurt, I guess, heart, uh, war not warming, but um, series, because it, it was such a powerful statement and you were amazing um, as usual. How was that uh, performing in that medium and then foretelling this story? I was really excited to be uh, working with Quibi. Um, I've been um, interested in the, using sort of the, the, the mobile device for storytelling as a delivery system for a while, sort of anticipating it for about, I don't know, seven years now. Uh, I always felt that it was moving in that direction, so it was nice to be asked to be a part of, um, you know, Quibi's kind of maiden voyage and the uh, the opportunity to tell a story like the story we tell in Free Ray Sean is, you know, is is really really an honor um, and I think you know um, of of importance to you know uh, what's happening in our society today. Question from Chesley Christ. Hey, this is Chesley Christ from Extra TV. Uh, Lawrence, Hi. the last time we talked, you said you were surprised to even be nominated. How fun is it to actually win? And how important is it for us to be exploring new creative ways to deliver series like this one? Well, it's really, really uh, an honor to have won the Emmy, uh, particularly for this kind of work. Um, and with respect to uh, using these new technologies to tell stories, I think it's just fitting. Um, you know, uh, technologies sometimes are double-edged swords, you know, they can be both blessing and curse. I, I think, or at least I hope that uh, with Quibi, you know, they're, they're going to be able to, um, to tell stories that are meaningful to people that have an impact in their lives. Um, and that, uh, that helped to educate people as well as entertain them. Question from Michael Payton. <clears throat> Hi, Lawrence. I'm uh, Michael Payton from TNT Latin America. Um, congratulations on your win. Um, Thank you. you throughout your career have worked on some pretty incredible projects varying in all sorts of scope. And I just wonder, as an actor, um, do you approach a project like this on something that's, you know, short form built for mobile devices any differently than you would, you know, a theatrical motion picture or a traditional TV series? No, not really. Um, the script for Free Ray Sean was delivered in a standard kind of screenplay format. So it was 120 pages. Uh, but it was broken down into about 12 or 13 acts. Um, so the only difference was really in the way in which it was scripted. We had to shoot it like we would shoot a normal feature film. Um, it was written in this, uh, in this new kind of way so that with each act or episode, uh, you know, you, you started uh, with something really sort of provocative and ended with a cliffhanger. Um, and then I suppose it was edited that way. But in terms of what my responsibilities were as an actor, it was pretty much the same as it always is. Hi, and congratulations. I'm here on behalf of Central Lab. I wanted to ask you, Quibi, a new platform that has seemed to be finding its way, some will say struggling a bit. What does this Emmy win mean for you and for the platform Quibi? 
Well, for me, I, I'm just incredibly honored that um, I've been recognized for the work I've done in this way. And I think for Quibi, it's a nice boost for them. Um, when I was first approached about Free Ray Sean um, and, you know, was told that it was going to be on this new platform called Quibi, we were all very excited about it because we realized that people were watching a lot of their content on their devices. We didn't really, uh, we weren't really, you know, aware of the fact that COVID was coming. So I think COVID has slowed down the response to it uh, that, that, that they anticipated. But at the same time, I also think that, uh, you know, they've, they've got a lot of content. They've got a lot of, um, they've got a, you know, they've got a mandate to try and do things differently. And, and, and hopefully it's, it's working for them. Question from Amanda Williams. Hi, Lawrence. This is Amanda Hi. Williams from E! News. Congrats on your win. Can you, you talk to me about how it feels to win an award during this time and how you'll be celebrating? It's pretty surreal. Um, I was really surprised to have been nominated at all and um, happily surprised even more to have won. Um, I, I think this time is, is strange in every regard for, you know, everybody. Um, but I will be celebrating um, with my family. Um, they got me a cake, which I will be enjoying this weekend. And, uh, and just, you know, trying to be grateful for, for, the, for the opportunity, you know. A question from Faisal Darwish. Hi, Mr. Fishburne. So nice to meet you. Congratulations on this win tonight. Uh, I'm Faisal Darwish with Access Hollywood. Um, I realize that it looks like you're maybe wearing a track suit. So I'm just curious how you came to the decision to kind of wear this tonight since you're at home. And, uh, you know, will, what can we expect from you um, for future projects that also mean a lot to you? Oh, well, uh, you know, these days, it, with the COVID going on, um, comfort seems to be the king uh, in terms of doing this kind of stuff. Uh, I'm very, very grateful to have been nominated and also to have won. And uh, I am very excited about some upcoming episodes of Blackish that we are currently filming. Uh, the first two episodes of which promise to be really, really strong uh, that deal with the issue of uh, voting, voter registration, uh, attempts at voter suppression, um, and things of that nature. Thank you, and congratulations on your Emmy. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know who your favorite Primetime Emmy nominee is.